Fifteen years ago, I was told emphatically by a group of academics, the sad part was, it was my um, thesis defence, that the German economy was going to be, quote, blown away by globalisation and that the British economy, with its transferable skills strategy, with its finance strategy, would emerge, quote, triumphant. I think the results are in. <laughs> and, um, and it's taken sort of 15 very painful years. But I think we have to conclude that the institutional arrangements of the German economy are a much better place to start than the institutional arrangements that we have in Britain now. And the honouring of the workforce, the honouring of knowledge, the importance of vocation, of ethics, of incentives to a common good are going to be an absolutely vital um, part of that. So peaceful social engineering is, is about establishing institutions that uphold practices, not values, but values linked to actual practices. Those practices have to be essentially threefold. Reciprocity is the most vital one. We know about contract. Contract is an immediate exchange between hands. We know about centralization. That is a move to the state. And then, but what we've lost is reciprocity, which is, which is based on give and take of relationships that are human, humaneness. proper description of how market economies work is actually a communitarian one and that effectively functioning markets, the kind of markets that we really have if one puts aside the kind of things that happen in the city and Canary Wharf, but the kind of markets that put goods on our shelves are actually institutions that are embedded in the society in which we operate. Consider two fishing crews. One of the fishing crews was organised, he said, on strictly self-regarding materialist, rationalist lines. It was organised and understood as a purely technical and economic means to a productive end. Its aim was only or overridingly to satisfy as profitably as possible some market's demand for fish. That's what one might describe as the investment banking model of fishing. Mm -hmm. The alternative was the communitarian model of fishing, a crew whose members may well have initially joined for the sake of their wage or other share of the catch, but have acquired from the rest of the crew an understanding of and devotion to excellence in fishing. The interdependence of the crew in terms of skills, achievement of goods, acquisition of virtues will extend to the interdependence of the families of crew members and beyond them to the whole society of a, uh, a fishing village. an economy which has large concentrations of oligopoly, which can then turn to oligarchy <coughs> and political control, what you're effectively doing uh, is using the market as a form of cover for people to uh, operate with self-interest in an unrestrained way. So I think the political discussion uh, needs to move towards a much more nuanced understanding of what markets are when they do work and what happens in the economy where markets aren't operating. So you're not just having a state that is as, as privatised and off you go, there's a market. When do we have situations of, of, of oligopoly um, that need a much more uh, intrusive state to act and break things up, as happened um, after Veblen died with the New Deal? Hoping for some reflections um, in the context of the riots um, and looking at groups who are not only priced out of a market that perhaps they would like to participate in a lot more, um, but also don't appear to be stakeholders in their local communities. I did go to Tottenham where there was no leadership and I did go down to Hackney where I live, where brilliantly in the place that I am now Lord, Stone you understand, you have basically Kurdish and Turkish armed gangs owning the street and then you had Hasidic Jews in the north who parked their Volvos 20 across <laughs> and you had 28 stones standing there and, and, the, and the mob came up took one look at both and went you know like, it's not going to be but the fact that we're talking about faith-based racial ethnically coded self-policing is terrible right I'm just giving you some account of where how terrible this is. we were grateful for armed or Volvo gangs um <laughs> 
But what there wasn't was any leadership whatsoever from within the communities from where the violence came. What you had, in, including in the open society debate, was the diminishment of society, a, a, an inability to grasp the sort of vocational, ethical, practice-based relationships that could resist both the domination of markets and states. Um, so that's why I think the debate is, is so sterile, is we still haven't got a language for talking about society as a force. Mm -hmm.